Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I got a really cool micro brand uh, for you today. You know, sometimes people say, you know, where do you, you know, how, how do you meet all these brands that you bring into the store? And the truth is, a lot of times they just come, you know, they just come to me. Obviously, in the case of like Citizen and Boulevard, I kind of stalked them for a while. Um, but a lot of the smaller, lesser known brands, um, you know, probably get a couple of emails a week or so asking to carry various brands. Um, but when Henry Archer hit my inbox, um, the email was composed well. You know, you could tell kind of who knows what they're doing and who doesn't. Um, kind of a little lesson in business for you. If you're trying to sell yourself, don't put grammatical errors <laughs> in your emails. Um, and I clicked the link and I was like, wow, these watches are really, really nice. Uh, so I am here to show them to you today. Henry Archer watches. My own wrist check, I am wearing my Brook Islander Brookville with the abalone dial. This one I released softly. I haven't done a video on it yet. Um, it will, I will in due time. It's my 38 millimeter Brookville, but it's got a new bracelet on it, enhanced clasp, uh, nice customized rotor on the case back. And then on my other wrist, my prior video where I talked about my most expensive watches in my collection. This was the watch, ironically, is one of the lowest cost watches in the collection, and I think it's the one that got the most um, feedback. It is the uh, Seiko SNR 049 Limited Edition Prospects GMT Spring Drive. That's what I have for you on my wrists. Let's see what I want to put on your wrist. So I have a bunch of Henry Archer watches to show you, about six or so, a couple of uh, three different styles you're going to hear from today. The my goodness, it's Danish names, so I apologize if I'm murdering them. Quantum, Akva, and Nordso. Uh, I have a couple different Nordsos to show you because I just want to show you the different colors they have. Uh, the name Henry Archer is a translation of the founder's name Heinrich. And then again, I won't even say the last name because I won't say it right anyway. And I wanted to start with a watch that I think this was the one that I saw when I went to their website originally. and. My goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful, did I say beautiful? Color purple this is. So this is the Nordso Automatic Dive Watch. Uh, it is, well, let's get into it. It is a 40 millimeter case. Okay, looking right here, beautiful, beautiful size. You see so many people, or so many brands going to 40s, Islander included. Uh, it's just a wonderful size. Um, obviously halfway in between your 42s and your 38s, but it just kind of works for a lot of people. 10 and a half thick to a flat sapphire crystal. So you probably already know what's beating inside. Or you have an idea. 47 on the lug tip to lug tip. Inside is a Miyota. It is a 9039 customized rotor. 9039 is just like the 9015, except it lacks the date feature. So there's no ghost position on the time setting. Um, it's 28,800 beats per hour, so you get a smooth tick of eight times per second. Power reserve of roughly, roughly 40 hours. Uh, flat sapphire crystal with inner AR. 20 millimeter bracelet, very supple bracelet, very nice. Uh, this uh, three-link brushed bracelet with polished sides. It's held. Looks like it's um. It looks to me like it's pins and collars. I haven't sized one yet. It looks like it's pins and collars. Uh, and then we have a beautiful clasp. Really nice looking sign clasp, but best part is it is a toolless micro adjust clasp. And that is, let's see if you could see it, it's right here. You pull this switch back and whoops, let me let me with gloves, it's like there we go. See that? Cool, right? So toolless micro adjust. Um, you get a couple of positions out of that uh, for that just right fit. Uh, 161 grams, water resistance, 200 meters, screw down crown. I, I got the sticker on my glove, huh? Like when the way told me. Bezel is 120 click. It is a, you know what? F the gloves. There we go. Bezel's 120 click. Uh, unidirectional ratcheting bezel. Works great. The only, my, I guess my quibble about the bezel would be that um, it's not marked for a dive. Um, you got your first 15 minute indications, um, but there's no numbers on it. Probably more of a design design decision than anything else. Um, 514 bucks, which, you know, considering everything you're getting, a 9015 movement, a nice slim case, beautiful original design, toolless micro adjust clasp, beautiful bracelet, 
Uh, oh, I should mention the bracelet is quick release pins on the uh, end link. Do you see that? Um, for around 514 bucks is, I'd say, going rate. It's a pretty, pretty smoking deal. So I wanted to show you just a couple of different Nords, so just so you can see the colors. I'm not going to spend time on these. So this is the Cosmic Purple. Um, this is Glacier Blue, I believe. There's an Ocean Blue, a gl Glacier Blue, a Horizon Blue, I don't know, a lot of different blues. Um, but you'll get it when you get to the website. You see it's got that beautiful accented, accenting baby blue seconds hand, a little bit with an orange tip there. You have the light blue accents on the bezel. And everything else about the watch, for, as far as it being a Nordso, is the same, the price, etc. But beautiful, beautiful dial work. Look at that circular, um, circular sunburst pattern on the dial. They really, oh, nice knurling on the crown logo. They really do a wonderful, wonderful job on dial colors. And then the other Nordso I wanted to show you was what they call yellow fin. It's almost like a gold tone. And again, with the, with the blue accents, man, it just works. Um, but there you go. Here it is. We'll, go, we'll do the loom in a minute. Beautiful yellow dial. Again, I said a little more of a, a, they call it yellow fin. To me, it definitely has a gold undertone. Not like a deep gold, like a pogue, but definitely a lot more muted, uh, softer. There's a bunch of other different colors. So that's it for the Nord. So um, let me, well, maybe it's not. Oh, wait, no, I have one more Nord. So, but this one's a little bit different, a little more pricey. Um, you probably tell why already. This one's 757 bucks. Everything else about the watch is, is actually the same, um, but the dial, is a blue meteorite. Look at that. If it bothers you that it's not running, I will get it to run. Beautiful. Look at that dial, huh? Amazing. The texture of the meteorite or the patterning on it, the striations. Beautiful, beautiful watch. So a meteorite dial for around 750 bucks with a great movement Great clasp, build quality is amazing. You can see the, look at the knurling on the bezel. Nice looking watch, really nice looking. As you can see, as I said before in the, in the opening, um, I'm fairly enamored with it. So now I'm gonna show you uh, the Aqua model. Uh, very similar case, if not the same case, 40 millimeters, 10 and a half, 47. Uh, similar weight, water resistant, et cetera. It just varies on the dial configuration and the bezel configuration. Um, this one is done in a uh, DLC, which is really nice, diamond-like carbon, diamond-like coating, super hard, so it'll stay looking beautiful for a long time, very difficult to scratch, still has a screw-down crown. Check out the pattern in the dial. Is that not awesome? What a pattern. Uh, and a simple, simple pop of purple on the seconds hand, a little bit of uh, Kind of like a, I don't know if it's a bluish green on the text and the numbers. Really, really nice. We can get the same clasp with the toolless micro adjust, something that people have been asking for in various brands. Um, so they've incorporated it and still kept the price uh, fairly affordable. So this is the Akva DLC. The last one I want to show you is probably one that, I'll be honest, it's my least favorite. I'm not a fan of these. But I do know that they certainly have a home. This is uh, your standard Mecha Quartz chronograph kind of two-eye dress watch. So this runs on a VK64 with Seiko movement. It's a 41 millimeter case, around 10.3 thick to that flat sapphire crystal again. We are 48 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Solid case back, 20 millimeter strap with beautiful quick release spring bars. 77 grams, so I have a couple. I have two of these. Um, I think a white dial and then this blue dial. So this is, uh, so it's a Mecha Quartz chronograph, which means it is, um, so it means it's a quartz heart, but the chronograph module is actually mechanical in nature. As such, you can't adjust the hands and stuff. They're all fixed. If they ever bump out of alignment, which they won't, because it's mechanical, unlike quartz, where they're held in with magnets. So you'll hear me crunch the top pusher, Maybe. Uh, it's a satisfying click. The second hand will go. You have your useless 24 hour scale on the right and then elapsed minutes on the left. So you are looking at a 60 minute chrono. Stop it. Oh, stop it. No, I think I started it and then stopped it again. I did. Uh, and then 
reset back to zero. Date is tucked away nicely at the six o'clock position. Uh, kind of cool that chronograph is spelled, I guess, in Danish or the Danish phonetic, whichever one that might be. Uh, probably important enough to note, we'll see, they, does the same thing on the back? If I look, I can't read this stuff anymore. Uh, yeah, designed in Denmark. So uh, Heinrich is designing these himself in Denmark. And I would say that he did a really, really awesome job. Uh, I'll just do... Uh, I'll do loom on these three here, so, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, the Aqua, the Purple Cosmic Nordso, and then the Chrono. There you go. Uh, the Chronograph in the middle is the only one that's using uh, C3. The other two are using BDW9 on the bezel as well as on the dial. Eh, looks good. Here is that Nordso on my six and a half, six and three quarter inch wrist. Wow, I just keep saying it. Man, that color is simply, simply beautiful, divine. Whatever you want to say is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see the chrono. So here's that blue chronograph. Looks nice for what it is. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of watches that look like this, but I certainly understand there is a market for them. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned the price on these. They're 260, about 260 bucks, 263. Um, but certainly have, have their uses, just not for me. And I think that's gonna conclude the party. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the micro brand, Henry Archer. Please like the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you can leave it down below. And I'll address it as soon as I can. Probably by the time you're watching this video, I'll actually be on holiday, as the Europeans say, or vacation, as the Americans say. But I'm never far from a computer or a phone. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.